open ranks, just right, dress, blah, 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 blah. So I inspected all the troops, and they were sitting them down, wrapped in that mainly Charles Brunson. You start a pre-service cell limit testing program or a free breakfast children program. One of the two within the next two weeks. In one week, they had both of them going. Young folks, students, people who wanted to get something done. I mean, they had both programs going and had them full flesh. They weren't no, just no small programs. I mean, the Black Panther Party spread it like wildfire across this country. J. Edgar Hoover and everybody was totally against it. We had this one shootout two days after Martin Luther King was murdered, when little Bobby Hutton was killed, which was a big press and a ruckus. But my point is, my organization spread. Our coalition politics with all our white and radical friends just sprouted everywhere. <coughs> With the young Brown Berets, the Mexican American Chicanos in Southern California and western part of the United States, the young Puerto Ricans with the Young Large Party, AIM American Indian Movement, <laughs> SDS students with Nonviolent Coordinating Community, Peace and Freedom Party, you name it. Anybody who was progressive. And we had a lot of guys who uh, were called. The criticism. Y'all work with too many white folks. We say, we make a distinction between our friends and our enemies. There are some white folks out here who puts their ass on the line and protest and get their ass beat protesting for civil rights. There are some racists and some people that plan over here who talk about killing and lynching black folks. We make the distinction. We already told the Ku Klux Klan where to go. The Ku Klux Klan didn't come around. I mean, we get on television. So you say, I told them, I said, you said you're going to, because I have brought the letters hundreds of thousands of letters with me. We're going to kill you niggas, we're going to lynch you niggas, we're going to do this to you, blah, 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 blah. And it was a program about race relations in America. And I said, now these are not. Said, but the thing is, all these letters here, and you know the camera come down and letters. I said, all y'all wrote these letters over the last two years. We put them on our lawyer's level. I said, but y'all a bunch of cheap comedy. Y'all ain't got no addresses, no return addresses. <laughs> <laughs> not one return address. And I was telling my host, you ain't got one return address on this letter. And you're going to kill us and you're going to murder us? I said, well, let me tell you something. First of all, the headquarters address of the Black Panther Party is saying so and so and so. The branch in, in Palo Alto is this and that. I gave about 10 addresses include my home addresses. I said, when you come to lynch us and kill us and murder us, we will shoot you and we will kill you in defense of our right to live and exist against your dumb racism. They understood that. They understood that very, very clear. Because we had guns and we will defend ourselves. Now, a lot of people think this is about advocating the use of guns. No. Right now, I don't even tell kids to go running up and down the streets trying to You couldn't get away with it. The laws have changed. But more importantly, it's not about that. At that time, the police brutality that you see today, that you've heard about since Rodney King and since then, it was 50 times worse in those days. 50 times worse plus. A lot of it never was even reported. Young blacks, kind of Mexican, like and a few poor whites killed and murdered by some overzealous, overforced use and racist mentality. Cops. But the Black Panther Party, when we patrolled them police for that six months, there was a report out, somebody did some research report, that police brutality in the San Francisco Open Bay Area where we was went down 90%. 90%! Because they had some young black folks who had some guns who could articulate the law and knew it. That this was something. That was something that happened. And we call that with everybody who was progressive. We didn't give a damn where you were, you black, white, blue. Because you see, people forget the police, the counterintelligence program of the FBI, they use black dudes to come into our organization to be provocateur agents to set up. I had one robbed a service station for $42. For what purpose? So our Black Panther Party newspaper truck. He was in the Black Panther Party newspaper truck while Crutch was in the restroom. Robbed the service station attendant out there.